There certainly are some exchanges that offer short uh, capability, but once again, uh, just identifying ones with that FDIC insurance, the right sort of margin and leverage requirements, and uh, keeping abreast of how you're trading, uh, especially in regards to if the entire marketplace is more or less consolidative, uh, finding the best of the best is really the, the way to go to keep you uh, in the right trades at the right time. <laughs>
back and forth price action, uh, plenty of volatility. And really, depending on your style as a trader, you might be looking to order pr other projects for uh, opportunity, especially one with more follow through. So if we shift over to our next topic, which is a new project that has gained a lot of attention over the past couple weeks. Uh, and this is going to be the Terra project uh, with the Luna USD pairing. So similar sort of review here and looking at some of the price volatility as of late, most of it has been to the upside. Uh, certainly this project saw similar sell swings, but as of the past couple of weeks, especially around that sort of secondary low that Bitcoin experienced, this particular project has not only broken out of some daily and weekly time frames, but is even coming close to testing its most recent all-time high, which was set around uh, late December of last year. Now, what this means is that there is some uh, continued interest in certain crypto assets, and more notably with this particular project, it's actually breached into the top 10 for all crypto projects uh, total. Um, experiencing pretty wild market cap fluctuations, especially with the uh, more volatile price movement overall, <clears throat> but uh, currently sitting at about 30 billion market cap and even surpassing some sort of legacy projects that have remained in the top 10, but are seeing a lot less overall interest. For example, projects like Cardano, Solana, which has certainly fallen off quite, um, quite heavily from its all-time high. And then as you shift down, you'll see familiar names like some of our meme coin projects, Doge and Shiba Inu, along with things like Polygon, which have fluctuated back and forth in the top 10, but currently sit uh, comfortably within the top 20 instead. So this marketplace continues to just evolve. And I think as with any new adoption phase of technologies, you're going to see lots of projects come into the spotlight and then fade over time, either with the hype cycling out and people sort of taking their profits with shorter term investments along with the project needing to continuously perform uh, to remain sort of in that hype or speculative phase of uh, market participation. So one thing that is of interest here is that obviously if you're a trader, you might be looking for lead bullish candidates and uh, certainly looking at this project after the fact, you'll say, well, this is certainly moving to the upside. It, it has sort of a daily uptrend structure in place. And what that means is you might be looking for particular pullback buys, albeit trying to identify where these pullbacks are occurring, usually at some relative trend line, or just identifying opportunities where even if the trend breaks, maybe there's a secondary support to sort of initiate short-term trade opportunities. Now, looking at the USD pairing, this is often pretty obvious after the fact, but another way to start to identify these opportunities ahead of time is to shift into a different type of tool or analysis method, uh, which is often referred to as the alt BTC pairing chart. So all this is doing is taking a particular project or token in this case, comparing it to the performance of Bitcoin and using this as a secondary sort of entry signal or potentially just a trigger for certain types of trades, uh, especially when you have a potential bullish or bearish candidate, one that's going to perform better from a percentage basis once a move begins. So the way to uh, start to interpret this tool is essentially to find moments of consolidation. Um, in this case, what you'll see here is that as Luna BTC sort of found its relative bottom, and as you find these moments where uh, this chart is starting to uh, essentially quote unquote find support. 
you'll often have consolidation phases similar to the actual asset USD chart uh, review. Now, whenever these types of charts break out, um, you want to understand what the pairing uh, refers to and what, it, what it's representing. Uh, in this case, think of it similar to any sort of uh, currency pairing or just how ratios act in general. What you're seeing here is that the relative performance of Luna compared to Bitcoin is rising or exceeding uh, something like the actual asset itself, in this case, Bitcoin as the comparison. So while Bitcoin might have also been bullish in these run-up days leading to this breakout, <clears throat> Luna itself was not only moving faster, uh, but in this case, actually seeing other daily or just uh, USD pairing type breakouts at the same time. And what it does is it gives you uh, earlier signals at times before the USD pairing actually shows the technical breakout. For example, um, if we compare February 21st, this is when the Luna BTC pairing was testing quote unquote resistance or the, the swing high after a relevant low was made. And on this particular day, if we shift back to the USD pairing and we look at February 21st, you'll notice that no real technical signal had occurred yet. Uh, essentially, this pairing was about to set up for a breakout, but the chart only really showed a slight elevation of bullish volume but the actual technical breakout or the level starting to be breached wasn't being experienced quite yet. Um, essentially, same lows and comparing similar time frames, same swing high to essentially break out from, but earlier signal. And of course, this, if you simply took this as sort of a, an entry signal, this would have led to the potential of 80% upside in this particular project. Um, certainly a much larger breakout than uh, the charts would advertise at the time, but it was a signal. And as with most technical analysis, we're trying to combine as much data as possible and utilize that information for the best risk to reward setups, the ones with the most likely scenario to occur. And then of course, in this case, uh, certainly a more bullish project, even though the marketplace as a whole has experienced a, a pretty steep decline from top to bottom. So certainly one to keep on watch. Uh, I would say as with any uh, leader in a marketplace, uh, the more attention it tends to have, the better participation, often the better the technical signals tend to work. And the main goal here is simply to avoid tighter price ranges or setups that don't have the type of follow through uh, in regards to risk to reward profile, especially if you're just looking on the daily. Whereas Bitcoin, um, if you had taking, taken these similar setups, whether you're a bull or a bear, just kind of buying into some of this lower price action, uh, the follow through, especially on the daily time frame, is akin to about a 1 to a 1.5 risk to reward. And we're still seeing these sort of pullbacks or these larger drawdowns. Um, whereas, of course, in this case, um, certainly seeing better upside and also pullbacks tend to be a little uh, less steep or less uh, impactful to the overall price. So. Um, keep this one on watch. Uh, certainly look for aspects of news or whether there's uh, drivers towards this price action. And then, of course, as always, uh, do um, your own respective research and sort of due diligence before deciding to invest in any particular project, even uh, the likes of Bitcoin itself. So. Uh, just shifting back into the uh, total market caps of some of the leading projects. Um, worth mentioning that if you kind of scroll down and look at the seven day performance over the past week since we are reviewing, um, Luna certainly stands out as that lead bull. But 
with larger market cap leads to less overall uh, performance from a percentage basis. Uh, it's essentially harder to move something with a larger market cap because it takes more uh, capital in order to, to move it in those percentages. <clears throat> As we scroll down, however, you'll see some other uh, potential projects, and this is a good way to just kind of keep your uh, ears akin to what people are buying and selling, what may offer better trade opportunities, especially looking back in time and seeing how they performed when the rest of the marketplace was consolidative or even bearish at times. So for example, another one might be the NEAR protocol, just noting that it did have a pretty strong relative performance over the past seven days. Scrolling down, um, especially just once again, lead bull, identifying ones that did gain on the week, maybe Monero and Vet, And then of course, some new uh, lower market cap projects, but these are ones that might have some news attention. Maybe they have some upcoming event that uh, certainly brings in a lot of participation. And that's going to be projects like Waves and scrolling down a little bit further, uh, Thor Chain uh, with Token Rune. So all in all, it's just a simple way to kind of keep abreast of what's working and what's not. Definitely more in the trader uh, mentality here. And really more towards the bullish side, I, I believe a lot of participants are uh, trading uh, more towards the long side. There certainly are some exchanges that offer short uh, capability, but once again, uh, just identifying ones with that FDIC insurance, the right sort of margin and leverage requirements, and uh, keeping abreast of how you're trading, uh, especially in regards to if the entire marketplace is more or less consolidative, uh, finding the best of the best is really the, the way to go to keep you uh, in the right trades at the right time. <clears throat> and then shifting over into uh, some of the global cryptocurrency charts as we uh, do each and every week. Um, here I just have a month long perspective. And what we can see is that the um, total market cap has certainly seen some pretty wild fluctuation over the past month. Uh, essentially, if I'm just looking a month back, we sort of topped out at around 2 trillion market cap total and some of our uh, lowest valleys uh, almost getting into the 1.5. Um, so what this means is that the entire marketplace at one point saw a drawdown of about 25% of total market cap. This is not insignificant in regards to uh, some money sort of leaving this particular market. And as with all of that, a lot of that volatility has hit certain altcoin projects. Uh, with Bitcoin seeing some stabilization, we'll shift it over to a month as well, uh, it certainly drew down as well. This is everything uh, besides Bitcoin you can see, you know, sort of topping out at about 1.2, coming down into a lower valley of about 900 billion. So essentially, um, Bitcoin losing a lot of relative market cap, but most of this loss is actually um, centralized in other projects. Uh, this high to low here uh, represented about 300 billion of loss. And then of course the total represented the additional 200 million, uh, sorry, billion. And that of course was Bitcoin itself. Another thing I wanted to show here, there is another tool on this particular site and it shows um, uh, major assets by percentage. Um, now that we have a new project in sort of the top 10, it actually shows up as one of the options as opposed to being lumped with the other. And what you can do is start to turn off projects that you're uninterested in. I'll just turn off everything but Bitcoin. You can see this as essentially the same Bitcoin uh, dominance chart that we looked at last week, the BTC.D chart. We'll go into a month view here and we'll see, you know, that fluctuation sort of staying around 41 to 42 percent. But let's go ahead and add a newer project, maybe one without as much uh, market cap, certainly going to flatten out the uh, chart near the bottom. And what you can see if we start at the beginning of the month, 
uh, Terra as a project only represented about 1.15% of the entire market. And as we move forward, especially more recently as we're approaching new uh, or testing previous all-time highs, this has actually gone up quite a bit. Uh, Bitcoin's percentage, of course, staying relatively stable, maybe gaining slightly on the month. But Terra, certainly from a quote-unquote uh, beginning percentage to current percentage, gaining a lot more. So it just shows that relative performance once again, uh, but also shows that as things are changing, uh, the marketplace is responding in kind. Uh, leaders are new leaders are coming into uh, top holdings, uh, laggards, ones that maybe haven't performed as well or simply haven't delivered much in uh, recent history are certainly underperforming. And that uh, leads to constant shifts in the marketplace. All right, last but not least, uh, crypto news for the week. Um, took a quick look. There wasn't anything of high importance. I would just say that for the week ahead, we want to stay a little bit cognizant of um, <clears throat> news related sell and buy swings in regards to the ongoing Russian uh, Ukrainian conflict. Um, we have seen continued donations towards uh, Ukrainians' objectives, and that's sort of topping out at around 37 million as of this recording. But overall, there's going to be potentially some headline risk moving forward, especially as Russian sanctions and the idea of crypto being used as a bypass for some of these uh, restrictions going on currently. That can bring fresh legislation, maybe a bit of a government overview of what is the next phase for crypto. And certainly, as we hear from uh, Federal Chair Jerome Powell, the idea of multiple reserve currencies, one of which might be a crypto asset, um, certainly brings a lot of attention to this space. Whether it be bullish or bearish news, that's certainly for us to uh, evaluate moving forward. So all in all, if you are engaged, especially as a trader in this space, um, certainly be looking for, I would say, diamonds in the rough. You want to stay abreast of what are the best trading opportunities, even though your investment or your long-term goals might not be situated in those particular projects. And that can be seen with the uh, constant market cycle and shifts that we've seen over the past year and especially uh, after a large sell-off or decline in the market. Um, finally, just kind of keeping aware of some of that tightening volatility range for Bitcoin. Um, certainly a fresh low would be of interest for the market. If we were to lose sort of 32000 and see a retest of the uh, May crash lows around 30 to 28K. That would bring a lot of negative sentiment to the market. But additionally, keep aware that as the market consolidates or trades within this range, whatever decision comes out of it is going to be impactful for the next move and the next big sort of trend. Um, whether it be bullish or bearish, I'm sort of remaining open to the idea that we could see another sell swing, but certainly looking at the channel perspective, waiting to see if a decision can be made, and ultimately remaining aware that we're in a market that is inherently risk off. Um, certainly with utilities, gold, some of the more inflation hedge or protective assets, and then uh, worth mentioning things like the dollar, which has broken bullish as of late and is seeing a lot of just um, run to safety type of performance. Um, this is you know, indicative of a risk off market and this can continue for quite a while, which puts some pressure on crypto assets as a whole. So with that said, my name is Jared. Hopefully you enjoyed the past couple of crypto updates. Uh, looking forward to making these week to week. And as always, trade safe. We'll talk more next week. And uh, feel free to reach out and leave comments as needed. So take it easy and see you all next week.